Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, we're gonna be going to an Amazon liquidation store and getting a haul of Amazon customer returns. Now, a few years ago, when we bought an Amazon return box, we realized that when you return something to Amazon, unless it's in, like, perfect condition, they don't really resell it as new. And instead, they redirect it to a liquidation company who auctions off huge pallets of customer returns to the highest bidder. All right, here's box number one. Ooh! With the idea being that you can get a lot of valuable items at a very low cost. Just probably used. Oh, and there's a hair inside. And recently on TikTok, our algorithm started to show us videos about Amazon return stores, which buy huge amounts of liquidated returns and then sell the individual items to shoppers, kind of turning themselves into secondhand thrift stores but just with returned stuff. And these stores seem to be popping up all over. I think with the rise of hustle culture, more and more people are interested in starting eBay reselling stores and or just finding really good deals. And come to find out, there is also a store like this in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is where we live. So we had to go. This store is called Treasure Hunt Liquidators, and they receive and resell thousands of returned and overstocked items from Amazon, Target, and JCPenney every week for pennies on the dollar. That wasn't really a joke, but I tried something. So what I thought we could do was go to the Amazon return store and try our luck at finding some treasures, take them home, and test them out. Because according to all of the TikToks we've seen, if you search, you can get some really good deals. So let's see if that's real or not. All right. Let's go hunting. So the way the liquidation store works is that they restock their returned items every Thursday. Just on the outside looking in. There's a cat bear. There's a drone. Oh, we yeah, have So every Friday morning, there's like a huge line of people waiting for hours to get into the store right when it opens at 10 a.m. It just keeps coming. It's almost like a victory parade because everyone's still out here waiting. But you get to just show everyone what you got. Like, I know. I won. She did win. And the store itself has like a decreasing price model where every item in the store costs $10 on Friday. And then as the week goes on, drops two bucks a day until Wednesday when everything is $1. So they can clear out their inventory and start all over again. I like that it says, if it's not worth it today, come back tomorrow when it's cheaper. And once you finally get get inside, it's pretty crazy in there, as they have like a number of large bins in the center of the store. You want another mini waffle maker? Piled high with seemingly random returned merchandise for people to dig through. There's some serious rummaging going on here, Seth. You're like a naked mole rat of this place. I guess that's the treasure hunt part. I, I am the naked mole rat. I am the naked mole rat. And each bin seems to be pretty much a mix of some desirable items. You want a VR headset? Some not so desirable desirable items. Oh, oh my God. Okay, don't be alarmed. Yeah. I think it's gonna be Buff Rudolph. Oh, let me see. Oh no, it's Buff Santa. Even worse. Even worse, even better. Hell yeah. And some must haves. It's very realistic. Well, name it Christine. Now, while we were trying to get our bearings in the store, we were approached by one of the owners who actually watches our videos and noticed us filming. And after chatting with her, she offered to let us film the behind the scenes aspect of their store, like how they get their stuff from Amazon and how they restock to see how their whole process works, which sounded pretty awesome to us. So we came back on the following Wednesday, which is the day the Amazon trucks come by Ooh. with their many boxes of liquidated items. The owners have a standing order with multiple liquidation companies to have two to three trucks show up every week to drop off 15 to 25,000 individual items per truck. That is crazy. And we got to take a peek inside the boxes as they came off the truck. That's so cool. The liquidation companies don't really organize the items at all, so when you open the boxes, it's really just a mix. From drones, to Apple Watches, to hydro jugs. For the gym. Ooh! To apparently thousands of units of chocolate. Anybody looking for this brand name chocolate? I think I have the whole country supply. <laughs> I have thousands of them. I can't get rid of them. 
That's amazing. But even though their stock varies from week to week, they usually get a decent ratio of treasure to chocolate. And look, look, look at my best friend right here. More chocolates. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm having nightmares and I wasn't playing. So the next day, we came back to see their restocking process. All the empty tables. Every Thursday, they close down the store to go through their 50 to 75,000 new items to replenish their bins. And basically what they do is they cut open the giant boxes. Look at that. Look at this stuff. Getting rid of any trash or obviously broken stuff, and then categorize the items into different containers. This is often a guessing game, as there are plenty of things that seem like mysteries. What is that? Uh, we never know. But to the right customer, could potentially be a treasure. That's amazing. I definitely saw some things I was interested in. Crocs. Oh, hard drive! And there were also some things that the owners seemed pretty pleased about, like unopened Apple Watches. Mm -hmm. Shut up! I'm so excited. And computers. It's like it's just birthing laptops yeah. right now. Though occasionally, what we all thought was a treasure turned out to be just an empty box that someone had returned. Hey! Took the charger and everything. Our spoils, sir. And once everything was unboxed and sorted, it was time to spread the items out onto the tables, with a balance of super high priced things and kind of middle of the road stuff on each one. Look at all the chocolate. It's epic. Dude, I ate like 10 of these things yesterday. And I think the reason they mix all of their stuff together is to really emphasize the treasure hunting part of the experience. Dude, the Biscolata factory really overestimated their demand. And also so it's harder for someone to just come in first and switch all of the best stuff. Now this restock takes them pretty much all day, so we actually had to leave after a couple of hours, but this is what the store looks like on Thursday night once they've filled all their tables and are ready for the chaos of the next morning. All right, so we're here at the liquidation store on Friday at around 8.30 a.m. You can calfed up for this? Yeah. You gotta be quick and decisive in there, Sophia. I don't feel that way right now. Yeah, calf up. There is already a pretty big line, so we are definitely not going to be first in the door at all. Decent distance to the door. I don't know if we're going to be the first wave or the second or the third, maybe like the fourth or fifth, but fourth or fifth would be good. But we are here and we're ready to buy. Apologies if I look insane. I haven't slept a lot this week because we keep waking up early to come here. <laughs> Now, I think if we had really wanted to be first in line, we would have had to camp out overnight because it seems like people start leaving chairs to keep their place in line at like 6 p.m. on Thursday. It's so close. I just, I can't deal with this. We're so close to standing in the shade. I just want everyone to move like five feet that way. Now, once we got inside, it was as usual, crazy. Do you see anything? This looks like a good pile. But I think our goal here was to search for interesting things that had a high starting value that we could test and see how good of a deal they really were. Smart wax. Oh, yeah, we could, you could wax me. <laughs> now, we had seen a lot of air fryers come off the trucks, and I thought I spotted one in the corner to pick up. Oh, there's an air fryer. You want the air fryer? That air fryer right there. You could get turkey in that thing. But it turns out that that was some dude's hoarding corner for all of the things he had claimed. So it was off limits. Oh, sorry. Is it all yours? Yes. Uh, congratulations. The air fryers are gods, huh? So we had to turn our attentions elsewhere. It's a sofa humidifier. What's that mean? I think it just looks like a little guy on a sofa. That's so cute. What the heck? We did find quite a bit of stuff that was interesting. Smart photo frame. It's definitely worth more than 10 bucks. A lot of stuff that looked like it was from Sharper Image or maybe Brookstone. How do we feel about the soft medium blade fan? I feel like every box you picked up has the same aesthetic. It's because it's all sharper image. Which is exactly the type of stuff that seems like it's worth more than $10, but you don't really want to pay full price for. Oh my God, look at this. What is it? It's like a little incubator for succulents, cacti, and mosses. I mean, that seems like a winner. Wait, this is really cute. What the heck? Oh we're God. going cute here, guys. There were also some decor items that caught our eye. Look at that. What is this? National treasure? One if by land, two if by sea, 10 if on Friday. Treasure chest, more like national treasure. Nicholas Cage's chest hair. As well as school supplies. Pencil sharpener, telescope. That's not a bad one. 
They're kind of acting like you can see Saturn like that. Yeah. Bird like that. Maybe. Saturn like this. Maybe not. And a rogue Elsa. Oh my god, no. Is she okay? We also may or may not have picked up some stuff that I just wanted. Mixing bowl set? This is legit a good, a good deal. Not really to test out for the video, just things that could come in handy. Candles? <laughs> Candles to melt. Chopping boards to chop. It's our Franken series right there. Ta-da! I also noticed a weird trend of finding things that we have bought from Amazon before for videos. Round three? Yeah! <laughs> like for our Amazon spa video. What's this? A foot spa! Oh my god, is this the one we returned three years ago? Or even stuff that we got in our last Amazon return box. Something on a water pick over here. But after finding a fair amount of good stuff. Is that the Charlie D'Amelio version? I don't think so. Maybe that's why they returned it. We thought we were ready to go through what we had found and pick out our final items. They have a coffee machine. Well, we got a coffee machine. And we do, we have one, we have one. But it was at this point that the shop staff actually started coming back out with even more bins of items to restock live. Ah! Stop, deep tissue wireless. Where is it, this? Deep tissue wireless. Oh my God. Things are just flying in there. You get your hands in this. Ah! Go get them smacked though. I'm gonna get them smacked. I'm gonna get smacked. I'm gonna get smacked. <laughs> I guess they save some stuff in the back to restock throughout the day, so the first in liners don't just grab everything good. I don't know, is this not interesting to people? The headset? I'm gonna start a hot tub stream, Sophia. I knew, I knew this day would come. I did have some luck in these mad rushes. Um, this might be a drone. I'm not sure. What's this, an acupuncture set? It's a cactus and succulent starter kit. That's what you went for? But I was also attacked by some dude's cart, which collapsed on top of me. It's a coffee pod drawer! Woo -hoo -hoo! It's okay! Here you go, man. So it felt like the right time to retreat back to our hoarding corner to decide which items we actually wanted to purchase. Everything we don't get, we'll put back in the bins, but I just wanna make sure that we get the right things we want, you know? Some things were easy no-gets. Okay, maybe this was a dumb grab. Electric warm socks. Probably not worth 10 bucks. I think the fan also is not that exciting. No, it's a fan. And some things we decided to put back after checking the price and seeing the deal wasn't that good. How much do you think a smart wax waxer is? I don't know. How smart is it? 25 bucks. Not that much. I also like that it says softy instead of safety. Is that a sign we should get it or avoid it? That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> so the final items we ended up with were this Holy Stone drone, originally for about $290. Yeah, let's try that. This fancy Banana Bros spice blender. Apparently it's for grinding things and it's like over $100. It's like 190 bucks. 190 this? Maybe, I don't know. There's always money in the Banana Bros. Apparently. This Polar Pro 5050 GoPro lens, which lets Let's you take photos above and below with a surface of water at the same time. Or video. Okay, that's kind of cool. And this Microderm Glow Mini at-home skincare tool, which we think is between $60 and $100. It's a good deal. It is a good deal. We were gonna get one of these massage guns for Tyler's thigh. Deep tissue wireless. Tyler, this is what you were interested in, right? It's not the punching one, but I like the look of that. I think this might be the one that Samantha says in Sex in the City will burn your c off. But at the very last second. All right, Seth, you go, you go. The shop staff came out with another round of items. Do you want a massaging chair? Yes. All right, let's take a look at this. So we ended up getting this massaging chair from Sharper Image, originally for about $150. I mean, I think this thing is good. You know how they say happy wife, happy life? This is like well-massaged back of husband equals less grumpy. Okay. Hmm, that'll catch on. And with the items for our haul picked out, as well as a couple of other things that I just wanted. I've always wanted a lava lamp. My mom never let me get one. Let's go with it. We checked out. Thank you. Got enough stuff? Got milk? I don't, but I have everything else that you could possibly need. And made our way back home to try out our new products. Okay, so we're back home now and we're ready to test some stuff, starting with the Holy Stone drone. All right, show me what you got. All right, ready? <laughs> me? Ooh. There she blows. Ooh. Don't know what this is for. Now it seemed like we got all the pieces we needed in our case, but the big problem we ran into was that for some reason, the battery and the charger we got don't really fit together. So Tyler took like a pair of, of like scissor pliers. Oh God, this is this is questionable. And sort of um, attacked the charger. Oh, 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 ready? 
<gasps> was that bad? Until it would like fit the battery. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh my God. Oh, look, look. Oh my God. We kind of had to tape the two things together to like keep the charge going. Oh, okay. I know and breathe. So I think we made it work, but I don't know. That might be why this was returned. But besides the battery, overall, I would say this seems decently legit. Obviously, it's not like a super, super high-end drone. It's not like a, you know, couple thousand dollar drone, but it has some weight to it. So I have medium hopes. I think we could be able to f fly it a little. Yeah. We think. We think. We hope. We pray to the Holy Stone. We're here. We're ready to test the drone. After taking our holy stone out into the wild. Oh, let's go to the umbrellas. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. To, uh, how do we get there? This way? I can say that one huge pro is that it does turn on. There we go. I heard. I hear a beep. So what happens now? It was not that easy to set up. All right, so now I have to calibrate the compass. What should it be, red and green? Turn solid. I have red and green now. And it was also pretty difficult to connect to the drone's internal Wi-Fi so you can use it. Can you try and connect to it? How's that? But I think those are just normal drone troubleshooting problems. How do I fly this thing? I think you're gonna hit one of these buttons on the side. See, there's a liftoff button. There's a liftoff button? Where? And once you figure all of that out, this baby does fly. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> Can you see anything? Yeah, yes. Now that doesn't mean that we know how to fly it. Ah, ah, wait, I'm bringing it towards myself. Lift it up. Oh! Higher, higher. Higher? Yeah, higher. Oh yeah. Ah! In fact, I think we have a ways to go in that department. Oh, I can turn it around. Ha ha, forward. <laughs> but besides that, the camera quality is okay. Why'd you just... <laughs> I was trying to get in the oh, shot. Oh, rotating, rotating. Are you trying to decapitate me? <laughs> and unsurprisingly, the battery life is pretty short. Uh-oh, Chase is not Chase, run. Run? <laughs> but that's probably because of our precarious charging situation. Uh-oh, it died. It's out of battery. Dead battery. So overall, I would say that this drone is functional. Not bad. <laughs> not the best, but not bad. All right, so next up, I was gonna test out this Banana Bros herb and spice grinder, but after further investigation and watching of some Amazon video tutorials, it seems like this thing is basically just to grind weed and then form it into joints. It says we make it easy for you to take it easy. So it's for weed. It's for weed. That's the tell. That, that. I really had no idea. Now there was a second where I thought to try and grind other stuff in here, like coffee beans or lipstick pigments or something, but it seems like it's so specifically for weed that that wouldn't really make any sense. And I think for this video's monetization sake, which is already hanging in the balance from just bringing this up, I think we should not test this out on camera. And I'm just gonna see if I have any friends who would like this gonna put this away. But I will verify that after plugging it in, it does turn on. All right. So now we're on to product number three, which is this 5050 Polar Pro kind of like rig slash lens, which as we said, lets you film both above and below the surface of water with your GoPro. See Ty, you could just jump off a ledge and I'll film you. Yeah, that looks like me. This came with everything it was supposed to. All right, this looks like the dome and this looks like the stick. It looks decently legit. And everything seemed to be going fine. Right. Seat belted in. Right, right. It looks like Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey. Until I noticed the spots. You see, there's kind of like condensation spots on there. On the inside or the outside, you think? I hope they're on the outside. No, they're on the inside. Uh oh. So I definitely needed to clean it before we could actually film. Does that thing come off? It's gotta, right? Can you like twist? I just don't know how to get in. Oh, is it this? Oh, maybe. And it turns out that cleaning it is actually kind of hard. Ha <laughs> ha, can you see? This is actually so difficult. Maybe that's why they returned it. They're like, this sucks to clean. So I tried my best here with a little hook squeegee thing. This is simultaneously annoying and ingenious, but the dome certainly did not end up spotless. Okay. I give up for now. Let's go with it. Screw it. All right. So with this thing assembled to the pool, we go. 
We gotta get our, our pool toys. Well, no, we actually do have them. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. It's cold. Ah! Oh. Now, once I got in the pool, the like fisheye of the 50 50 lens was way more apparent. Yeah, like if I back up, I can see a lot. Okay. My frame of vision is wide. Oh, it's cold! It was kind of hard for me to see the GoPro screen while I was filming underwater. So I can't really see what I'm filming. That's the problem with this thing. So I flipped it upside down, and that seemed to kind of help. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? We crouch back down. Okay, crouching. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so after getting Tyler into the water... Is that good? We tested out a few of our pool toys. Where is it? Where did it go? In lieu of actually having marine life to film. <laughs> okay. Okay. The torpedoes were a bust. Oh, just do perfect, baby. Do, do perfect. Okay, I could sort of see that. No, that one was just at me. That was at my thigh. Maybe we should try the other toy. But we had more luck with the Nemo figurines. Ready? All right, see? What do you want me to see? What should I see? Now, after reviewing the footage, who is she? I would definitely say that this lens enhances your GoPro's ability to film above and below water. So in that way, it does work. <laughs> what? Tyler's having too much fun just playing in the pool. But it does let a little bit of water inside after a while, which causes those damnable spots. And based on reviews of this thing, that seems to be the main complaint. But overall, it ain't that bad. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's definitely fun. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more. Let me get one more uh, round of the torpedoes. With the torpedoes? No, anything but the torpedoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So here is item number four. The Sharper Image Body Scan Massage Chair Attachment. Now, this massage chair isn't really a chair. In fact, it straps on to a pre-existing chair, but it seems like it does some fun stuff. Like it rolls, shiatsus. Needs. Needs. Warms. Makes biscuits. It seems good. Now, I don't think it's gonna fit on the chair I'm currently sitting on. So let's go to the next room and try it out on a different chair, shall we? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's so large. For some reason, I feel vaguely like this is like a ventriloquist dummy of like a manta ray. I was gonna say it was like a body pillow. Yeah, I see that too. It's like one of those ones that has like a face on it that you can like date. Now, though this thing is kind of awkward to carry, it's really not that heavy and it's strapped on pretty easily to our chair. And once we plugged it in, it started moving. Oh! Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Dude, it's totally moving! Here's what it looks like without a person sitting in it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks, that looks terrifying. It looks horrifying. It looks like the Demogorgon trying to like burst through the wall. Yeah, oh, definitely. And this is how it feels on a person. Oh, 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 it's shiatsuing me. Ooh, oh, ah, mm, Feels pretty good. Oh, ah. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, yeah. oh, okay, this is good. The top is awkward. You don't like the top. Oh! And this overall rocks. Dude, for 10 bucks, are you kidding? This thing's <laughs> awesome. I think because it's not quite as immersive as a full-on massage chair, there is something a little bit awkward right at the top and the bottom of its massaging range, for me at least. But the middle, I keep saying middle right when it gets to the middle. <laughs> The middle is pretty good. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Every time it gets to the bottom, I'm shocked. The heating option is also very nice. I feel like I'm in like a really nice Subaru, right? It's like all the good parts of a Subaru seat. You know, like the, the, the butt warmer plus kneading action. Yeah. Call it the need brew. The Suba need. The Shiat Subaru. All right, trade with me. Let me try. Let me try. No. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> No. No, here, here. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> I want to try it. Okay. All right. So now we are on to item number five, the Microderm Glow Diamond Microdermabrasion 
tool. Now, microdermabrasion is, I think, essentially an exfoliating treatment meant to remove dead skin cells and general gunk from your skin. I've had it done to me a couple of times in like skincare facials, so I, I understand the idea, but we'll see if I can do it myself. This is an at-home tool, but it probably doesn't hurt to know what you're doing, so that is my preface. This thing is, is hardcore. Oops. It says, stop, do not return this product to the store. Well, Amazon doesn't care about that. <laughs> Interesting. Now, in this box, we got the main body of the microderm tool, as well as a few suction heads, but we were missing a few accessories. We do not have the premium diamond tip or the fine diamond tip. And even more concerningly, we also seem to be without replacement filters, which we really needed. Okay, the top looks really gross. Oh, f what's even happening? What even is that? It looks like someone else's hair. Oh no, they kind of like nose hairs. So we had to order some new tips and filters before we could try out our machine. Because I think this is someone else's old filter that's still in here. We do not want that. No. All right, so it's been a couple of days. We have ordered and received a couple of new tips, which I think is gonna be better, and also some new filters. Oh, they're so cute and small. Here we go, filter going in. Oh, please, sir. And we did also clean out the suction tips that we kept very thoroughly. So with those in hand, I have a washed face ready to be microdermabrasioned. Microdermed? Abrasioned? Emdeed? Now I did watch some videos on how to use this thing, and I have also prepped my face as they suggested in the manual, dry and with no product. Water! I feel like that. And we decided to try out the premium diamond tip we had ordered. Yeah, see, it's kind of like textured. And good news is, the machine does turn on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But unlike at a spa, oh, I did not find this to be a relaxing experience. Oh my god. No, it's suctioning me, do you see? It's grabbing your skin too much? Yeah. As the larger diamond tip's extreme sucking action is pretty intimidating. Oh yeah, it's leaving the mark as you go. Yeah. You have like a second eyebrow now. I do. I think you just sunburned your, your forehead. Are you, you're, going, you're going back in for more? I'm scared. Don't do it. No, it's off. Don't. Okay. I'm doing it. All right. I also tried the smaller diamond tip. That looks less scary. It's much smaller. So it looks terrifying. And I definitely felt more comfortable kind of digging in around the nose with that one. I feel like Squidward. <laughs> a little bit. Being a bit more ruthless. Oh yeah, this feels good. Okay, I'm gonna try over here. Though I have to be honest that I think the sanitized vacuum tip was probably my favorite out of all of them. You feeling your dead skin just flying away? Actually. Oh! Okay, I can see some stuff here actually. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right, well, show us. Because I do think I ended up extracting some junk from my face. Uh-oh. What's up? I'm gonna turn it down again. I got caught over here. You got caught? Sometimes it just like grabs onto my face and won't let go. Sorry if it's gross. Oh damn, that is nasty actually. Can you see it? I can see something, yeah. Yeah, it's not pleasant. So in conclusion, the machine definitely does work, though we did have to invest in some extra accessories for it, and it's also kind of scary. This isn't good, right? Just going like this? I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing. You just pulled oh the god, zit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> you just put it on that zit? I know I did. <laughs> Are you trying to suck the zit off? <laughs> I thought maybe it would be good. But if you know how to use it, it's a good deal. All right, so that was my haul from the Treasure Hunters liquidation store. Overall, everything we got from there did end up working, even if we ran into some hiccups or had to do some Radio Shack surgery. How do I turn it around? Uh, there's, uh, the buttons? And even the extra things that we got, like not for the video, worked as well. Like our lava lamp. Oh my god, did you just see that? I, I got some of it, oh my god. Oh my god, it's working! And our succulent growth light. What's that one meme? Don't talk to me or my son ever again. What? There's nothing wrong with my son. He's fine. Is your son the succulent or the Brookstone thing? I think the succulent. <laughs> Obviously, we aren't really resellers or side hustlers, but that's a fair amount of verified value. I also had a ton of fun visiting the store and hunting for treasures. I mean, it is kind of a madhouse in there, especially on Friday mornings, but I do think it's interesting to see what gets liquidated from Amazon and the wide variety of things you can get. Now, I did get attacked by a cart. It's a coffee pod drawer! <laughs> 
but the adrenaline just kind of fed the experience, which I think was overall better than my experience buying an entire Amazon Returns box. Because you can be much more selective with what you want here, and you can buy like five things instead of 50. So I definitely think I would like to return to the liquidation store. There are a lot of things I have my eye on for possible future videos, like makeup, clothes, mystery boxes, and I swear by all that is holy stone, I will get my grubby little paws on an air fryer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. Here is my Instagram. Here is my TikTok. Here is my YouTube Shorts channel. And here is our live streaming channel, where we live stream every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to check any of those things out if they seem interesting to you. And with that, I will see you guys a next time.